Hello everybody, and today we're going to do a few examples of proving segment relationships. We're going to identify some properties, and then we'll go fill in a proof here for number four. It says, for number one through three, justify each statement with a property of congruence. And the, the three pref, uh, properties of congruence are reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Remember, reflexive means anything is congruent or equal to itself. The symmetric property says that um, if one thing is equal to something else, then you can reverse the order in which you say it transitive property, uh, there's kind of a go-between. If one thing is equal or congruent to something else, and that something else is congruent to a third item, then the first and the third item are congruent because of the middle connecting piece. Let's look at number one. Um, it says if segment DE is congruent to GH, then GH is congruent to DE. That is a perfect example of the symmetric property. Uh, number two, uh, if AB is congruent to RS and RS is congruent to WY, then AB is congruent to WY. That's an example of the transitive property. And the way to help you remember transitive is just remember there's an, a connector that transfers one information, one bit of information to the other. And in this case, the RS is the connector. It connects AB congruent to WY. And then number three, RS is congruent to RS itself. That is how the reflexive property works. Okay, let's look at this proof. We're given that PR right here is congruent to QS right here. Let's prove that PQ is congruent to RS. All right, our first statement, PR is congruent to QS. That is always given. First statement is almost always given. Uh, PR is equal to QS. Now we think of A as like the geometry notation and B is sort of an algebra notation. Um, that is the definition of congruence. And more specifically the definition of congruence segments, but just the notation. Now we can, now that we're in uh, B here, we can manipulate it algebraically. Uh, C, we're telling you that PQ plus QR is equal to PR. Um, and that is the segment addition postulate. Let's abbreviate that here. And then we're saying that um, another segment addition, addition postulate, well, we've already established PQ and QR. We must need to refer to the other pieces, QR plus RS, those two pieces added together. QR plus RS is equal to the whole segment, QS. So remember, a, a segment addition, little piece plus little piece equals big piece. And then E, PQ plus QR equals QR plus RS. We got these equal to each other by substitution. Okay, we can see the PQ and QR and the QR and RS. It's from the statements above that allow us to set these equal to each other. And then um, with the quantity PQ and QR, that can be um, uh, we can see that matches up with PR, QR, and RS. Um, that matches up with QS. Um, the next statement we're going to have here, based on this equation from E, is PQ is equal to RS. Now, if what happened here was the subtraction property, as it says in the reason. On this equation, if you take away the QR from both sides, you're left with the equation PQ equals RS. And then lastly, we have definition of congruent segments, similar to what we did in B. Um, let's do the geometry notation. Segment PQ is congruent to segment RS. And there you are.